think we're just about there. Welcome, everyone, virtually. Um, and thanks for joining me this week on the mat as we journey from the mat into ourselves. Um, this week's class is going to be on balance. And um, you know, when I had to think about it, balance is a lifelong journey. It's kind of like I was thinking about when you go to the DMV and you're very patient and you leave there kind of patting yourself on the back saying, I was so patient. And that's until you find yourself in a traffic jam and, uh, and you're late and all of a sudden, you know, it's balance and patience, you know, are lifelong. They come and they go. You know, there's this wonderful ebb and flow. And here in yoga, um, you know, it's exactly that practice of the ebb and the flow, the yin and the yang, finding that middle ground, um, learning to take in and then let go. Um, and when we become aware of that those efforts, those practices, we come to a still quiet place inside us. And a lot of people refer to that as the sweet spot, that place where everything just seems to be. And if we can, through this practice, begin to notice, begin to take that self inquiry, um, we have a better chance of practicing balance and taking it off the mat and into life. And so today through our breath work and our asana, our posture practices, we will specifically do some balance poses. Um, we'll just begin to start that inquiry. So I'm glad you're here to practice with me. Um, so of course, always housekeeping, blow your nose. We wanna breathe in and out without any obstruction. Um, sitting on a mat, a pillow or a cushion, allowing your hips to slide forward. Um, having a block or books near you so that when especially, and I will try to remember to um, ask you to have your blocks at the front of your mat when we do certain poses, like half moon Ardha Chandrasana half moon pose. That's a nice pose to have blocks up ahead. And then of course, a blanket to place under your knees if you have any sort of sensitivity. You know, remember, I'm just the voice, your body's the teacher, listen to it. Um, and uh, we always have to have a shout out each week. And so this week it's two mothers. I know I mentioned it last week, got my weeks mixed up a wee bit. Um, it's all mothers and a mother is just a being that nurtures, whether you um, have children or dogs or cats, um, whatever it is that um, you have that loving, nurturing relationship, honor that um, as this weekend sets aside that time to honor mothers and motherhood. Um, so with all that said, let's start. Um, so come to a comfortable seated pose pulling the flesh from your sits bones, allows your hips to slide forward and begin to move your shoulders in one direction. Just uh, begin to loosen up, it's morning time, and then reverse. And now I invite you to make a conscious effort to begin to connect with your breath and placing your hands on your thighs as a feeling of groundedness, if that's what you need today, or your palms facing upwards in a gesture of receiving. Be where you are today and allow this practice to answer and to come to wherever you are. So I invite you to close your eyes and bring in your lips together and to begin your breath work Inhaling through your nose, feeling your belly, your rib cage, and your lungs expand. Take it all in, 
hold it there for a moment, and then let it go as you contract now your belly, pushing out your air. And I invite you to find a count, maybe it's a three or four count in, pulling in the air as your belly expands, filling up your rib cage and your lungs, holding it. And then as you exhale, exhale to a six count or five, just a wee bit more than what you inhale. And so with your eyes closed, just find that inhale and exhale rhythm. Breathing in, smooth, slowly, and then letting it go, contracting as you release, let go, push out any remaining air that you no longer need. Find this nice, slow rhythm to bring you into that place in, of quiet, to set the tone and the rhythm for this class. And if you begin to constrict the back of your throat, closing off, you come into the ujjayi, the audible, ocean-sounding breath. And it sounds almost like Darth Vader. And if when you hear your breath, your mind automatically begins to slow down. So see if you can't constrict and begin to listen to your breath as you pull it in. Find three more ujjayi breaths as you slowly inhale and exhale on your own. And then I invite you to open your eyes. And now moving with breath on your next inhale. Slowly bring your hands up, fingertips touching. And on the exhale, like you were slowly floating your arms down like wings. Two more, moving breath and movement. One more. Now placing your left hand on a block or the floor, wherever it is, and on the next inhale, raise your right arm up, pressing the palm fingertips of your left finger. First, reach up first on the inhale, and then exhale, begin to lean over as you breathe, opening the intercostal muscles, the rib cage on the right side of your body as you gaze up, pressing your hips down into the mat, into your cushion. One more. Inhale and exhale. On your next exhale, floating your right arm down as your inhale. Left arm comes up. Reach up. Really feel the stretch. Pressing your knees away 
from you into the earth as you reach your fingertips up opposite direction, rooting down from the lower part of your body as you rise up, crown of the head and fingertips. One more deep inhale and exhale here. On your next exhale, as left arm floats down, inhale, right arm comes over left knee, left arm behind, inhale, extend through the crown of your head and twist on your exhale, gazing over your left shoulder. Each inhale has you pressing up a wee bit, and then on the exhale, twisting, gazing over your left shoulder. One more inhale and exhale. And on your next exhale, right hand comes off, inhale, left arm comes over. Reach up. On the inhale, exhale brings you to a twist. You might feel a nice adjustment in the in your back. Breathe. One more inhale and exhale here. On your next inhale, crisscross your arms. You guys know this drill. Grab a hold of both knees. Tuck your chin into your chest as you pull down. Feel the opening in your shoulder blades, the back side, your rib cage. Think of your spine and you're sending all that wonderful, beautiful prana, that life energy that you're inhaling and exhaling up and down your spine. Envision it, breathe it. On your next inhale, bring both arms up behind and either slide off your mat or move it to the side, wherever you are, and pressing as your knees come up and you bring your head back, but don't drop your head all the way down. We wanna keep some pressure and some strength in your neck. So I don't want to see this. Keep your neck. Press into your arm as you open the front side of your body and open your heart. Breathe in. Sending all this beautiful energy, prana, into the openings that you are creating right here. One more inhale. And on your next exhale, coming down onto the mat, bringing your feet out to the edges of your mat, shoulders roll back, fingertips either in the same direction of your toes or whatever feels good. On the inhale, roll back. Exhale, drop your knees to the left side, keeping your shoulders straight. Inhale to center. Exhale, just warming up the body. Breathe with each movement. Inhale brings you to center. Exhale. Next time we dip over to the left, swing your right arm over, pivoting your left hand on the mat. Inhale to center. Exhale. Inhale to center. Exhale. Mm, just very slowly moving with breath. Next time you come to the left, hop onto your left knee, left hand, and reach. We're gonna hold this pose. Reach out, really feel that beautiful stretch on the right side of your body. Just reach up. One more inhale and exhale. On your next exhale, come to center. In, take an inhale, and on the exhale, move to the left side, uh, right side, I'm sorry. Reach out through your fingertips, from fingertips to toes, one straight line. Really feel the stretch. Take one more inhale and exhale here. On your next exhale, come down to center. And now bringing your feet Hip width, dis um, hip width distance now, and fingertips once again in the direction or outside, wherever it is. We're now gonna begin to warm up. So shoulders up, back, and down. Feet hip width distance apart. Let's move this so you guys can maybe see a little better. On your next inhale, press in as you pop up. We're in reverse table. Again, your head's not. Um, dropping, 
You're engaging your neck muscles as you gaze down the center of your body, pressing in to both soles of both your feet and your palms. On your next exhale, come back down. We're going to do that again and move through using your breath. On the inhale, pop up. Exhale, scoop through, maybe not touching the mat. On your next inhale, breathe. Exhale, come through. Inhale. Exhale, three more. Inhale, warming up the spine, all your muscles. Breathe. Breath and movement. One more. Exhale. Hmm. Coming back to seated. Bringing your feet out in front of you. Flexing your feet. Shoulders up, back, and down. And again, not rounding your spine, but shoulders up, back, and down. And begin to hinge forward. Feel the pull. This might be a good place to use your straps or belt, whatever you have. Begin to hinge first and then begin to walk your hands down, grabbing a hold of your shins, ankles, or bottom of your feet. And once you get there, with as flat a back as you can get, begin to bend your elbows as you pull dropping your belly onto your thighs. And when you get to the place where you've gone to your edge, and only you know that, begin to explore the difference between pain and discomfort. When you get to that edge, bow forward and breathe. One more inhale and exhale here. And on your next inhale, come back up. Shake out your legs, shake out your feet, draw your knees in, drop them over to the side, and come onto your knees using a pillow or um, a towel under your knees if you have sensitivity. With your palms underneath your shoulders, knees under hips, tops of your feet pressing into the mat, I'm going to move all this, so here we go. On your next inhale, drop your belly, gaze up. On your exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Inhale, drop this nice, slow breath and movement as we just begin to warm up today. Feeling the tops of your feet pressing into the mat. Do two more, moving with your breath. Really exaggerate as you tuck your tailbone, bringing your chin to your chest. Coming to a neutral spine and holding it here. On your next inhale, we're gonna start balance. And here, our first balance pose, has, you know, just flex your foot and begin to just feel your left leg and right arm in the opposite direction. Find your gaze. Come into that still place, feeling the balance as though someone were doing tug of war, equally pulling on each finger, tip, and toes. Find that balance as you gaze, breathing, sending the breath. On your next exhale, bring your right palm and left knee to the mat. Take a neutral breath here. On your next inhale, extend left arm, right leg, opposite direction. Really reach out as though you were touching the wall in front and behind you, if there's a wall in front and behind. If not, whatever it is you're gazing at, believe each breath can bring you closer. One straight spine, 
Feeling the breath riding the spine. And breathe. On your next exhale, bring left palm and right knee to the mat. Take a neutral breath here. And now we begin to warm up a little more. On your next inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, elbow to knee, chin to chest. On the inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale. On this extension, turn your palm, flex your foot, and come out to the side. Using your core, inhale to center. Exhale, out to the side. Three more. Inhale to center. Turn your palm, keep your leg up as high as you can. Using your core muscles to do the work. Feel it. Just feel it, no comments. Last one. On your next exhale, palm and knee to the mat. Take a neutral breath here. On your next inhale, extend. Left arm, right leg. Exhale, elbow to knee, chin to chest. Inhale as you extend. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Inhale, big extension. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, breathe. On your next inhale, keep your extension. Turn your palm out to the side. Keep your gaze straight ahead, using your core. Inhale to center. Exhale to the side. Feel your core muscles doing all the work. Two more. Inhale to center, exhale out to the side. Last one, exhale out to the side. On your next inhale, palm and knee to the mat. You should feel a little warmed up right about now. I know I do. On your next inhale, sweep up your right arm, reach up, exhale. Dive it down under, right ear to the mat. Roll onto your right shoulder. Extend your left leg out as you breathe. Allow gravity to open your shoulder and just sink in each exhale as you're feeling a little deeper into the mat. One more inhale and exhale here. And on your next inhale, Bring palm and knee back to the mat. Take a neutral breath here. On your next inhale, sweep up your left arm, reach up. Exhale, dive. Left arm, left ear, extend your right leg out and breathe. Roll on to your shoulder. Really feel that. It's a really nice shoulder opener here. And breathe. Just sink in. It's a it's a nice pose to just be in. On your next inhale, pressing in to your palm, bring both knee and palm back to the mat and breathe. On your next inhale, roll over your toes and press into down dog. And here in downward dog, begin to just bend your knees back and forth, shake your head yes and no. Maybe you bend your knees up into each other and breathe. Okay, we're gonna try our first balance, well not our first, but a different balance pose. So here, take your right arm and place it in the center of where you're, in, in between where both your, shoulder, your arms are shoulder width apart, Bring your right arm into the center. Pivot onto the outside of your right foot. And so your palm is right under your shoulder and you're not sinking. You wanna pull your hip up. And here, extend your left arm and breathe. Balancing on one side, 
draw in your core, and if you want to take it a little bit further, raise your left leg and breathe. Find this wonderful balance pose. One more inhale and exhale here. On your next exhale, bringing your leg down if it's up, pivoting back and pressing back into downward dog. Take three breaths here in down dog. Breathe. On your next inhale, taking your left hand to the inside of your mat, where in, in between where both your hands are. Taking your left foot and rolling onto the outside of your left foot. And once again, um, palm is underneath shoulder and you're turning your body out to the side, stacking your feet, making sure you're not dipping down like someone's pulling up your hip. On the outside of your right hip, extend your right arm up. And if it's in your wheelhouse, pull your right leg up. And each inhale, as you're reaching up and breathe, find this balance. One more inhale and exhale. On your next exhale, lower your leg. Bring your arm around, drop down into child's pose, and breathe. Take three breaths here in child's pose. On your next inhale, pop into upward dog, I mean, um, down dog, make your way into downward dog. And here, step, walk, or float your feet. And here, find, just push this down just a little bit. You're not gonna be able to see my head, which is good, you wanna see all my gray hairs. So, right here, use your fists, come to hip width distance, with both the soles of your feet, and then let it go. Grab a hold of your elbows and begin to walk your elbows closer to the back. And breathe here, shake your head yes and no. <clears throat> Grabbing a hold. And once you've moved and walked your elbows as low as you can go, let go. And take your peace fingers and either grab a hold of your big toes. And if you're here, bend your elbows as you pull, feeling the very deep stretch in your hamstrings, the back of your legs. And once you've gotten this far, take your hadas and put them under your hadas for hada hasta gustasana. Hand to feet pose. And just bend your elbows and sink down. Feel the gravity. It's a nice inversion, allowing all the blood to rush to your brain. Did you know that our brain is only 2% of our weight, but it takes something like 25% of oxygen of our body? And it just goes to show that the brain loves oxygen. And when we do inversions, okay, hands on your hips, you're all gonna pass out. With your knees slightly bent, you don't wanna hyperventilate, begin. So with a flat back, you're here, knees slightly bent, just come up to a standing pose. So the brain loves oxygen, and which is why inversions are so good for you. Okay, so you're at the front of your mat now. I'm gonna turn to the side, but first, with an inhale, Inhale, bring both arms up, interlace your fingers, arms, biceps close to your ears, reach up, taking your feet and really grounding them in, pull your kneecaps up, your thighs are engaged, you're slightly tucked with your tailbone, reach up, hold this pose for a moment, feel how you are so balanced here that all your bones are stacked. 
and just breathe. Don't be in a rush to move to the next pose. Find balance right here. Take a deep inhale, reach up. On your next exhale, begin to float down to the left side, feeling your left ear reach into your bicep. It's the first time I haven't used sleeves, and so I can really feel my ear resting in my bicep here. Breathe. One more inhale, and each exhale may have you coming a little lower to the ground. Remember, your kneecaps are pulled up, your thighs are engaged. On your next inhale, using your core, come back to center. Take a neutral breath here. Seems like an easy pose, but if you do it slowly, we're really using our muscles. So inhale, extend. Exhale. Float down to the right side. Once again, allowing your right ear to rest. It's like a little cushion in your, your bicep. Breathe. Remember, core is engaged. Kneecaps pulled up. Thighs engaged. Exhale, we protect lower back that way. One more inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, come to center. Now this pose, drop your head back. No tension. Whoops. On your next inhale, reach up, thighs engaged, and now press your thighs forward. Don't drop back yet. You want to press forward first. And then as you were drawing a straight line, reach up and back. Fall back. Way back. Breathe. On your next inhale, come to center. And then exhale, float all the way down. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale down. One more. Inhale to a flat back. On your next exhale, bring your right leg back. Drop your right knee. We're going to move through this quickly to get to some balance poses. Top of your right foot, both hands on your left knee. Straight ahead. Inhale, bring both arms up. Biceps alongside. Reach up. Exhale, bow forward. On your next inhale, come up to center. Float both arms down. Straighten your left knee as you bend forward. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, move and ride your breath. On your next inhale, come forward. Roll over. Your right foot, bring your right knee up. Bring your left knee to the outside as you press in, bringing your left foot back to meet your right. And this one's for my niece, Jessie. On your next exhale, she loves this pose, so you can blame her. So reaching out through your heels. On your next exhale, come down onto your elbows, holding it here. On your next inhale, Press into your left palm, right meets left. Come down onto your left elbow. Thighs engaged, core engaged, reach up. Two more on each side. Move with your breath. As you come down onto your elbows, press back onto your palms. Exhale, on your elbows. Inhale, press up. And press back into down dog. Take three breaths here in Downward Dog. Okay. One more breath here. On your next inhale, raise your right leg up. Inhale, bring your right foot down. Left knee onto the mat, top of your left foot. Both hands on your right knee, shoulders away and down. Gotta catch my breath here. On your next exhale, bring both, oh no, I'm sorry, bring both arms up, interlace your fingers, biceps alongside your ear, take a deep inhale, and then exhale. We've warmed up our spine. On your next exhale, float both hands down to opposite side, and then ride your breath. 
as you extend back, forehead to shin or knee. Inhale brings you forward. Exhale brings you back. Inhale forward. Exhale brings you back. On your next inhale, come forward, bring your left knee up as your right knee comes to the outside, pressing into your palms as you press back once again into uh, plank. And here, this time we try something new with balance. So we're gonna come down onto our elbows. We're here in plank. Kneecaps are pulled up, thighs are engaged. Take your left hand over in front of your body, roll over to the side, and come on to a plank pose. We did this before. And now raise your right leg with your left, with your right arm, reaching up. Breathe. On your next exhale, bring both elbows down, out in front, and just bend your hand into, and now roll over, you're gonna get my backside, onto your opposite side. Inhale. You know. Okay, what happens? Okay, that was Elizabeth. I thought I turned my phone off. Sorry, class. Elizabeth, I can't talk now, sweetie. Okay, I'll call you after. I'm in class. You're all family anyway. Okay, and I got out of that pose pretty nicely, didn't I? All right, so come back to center. Press back into child's pose. That was really good, guys. And relax. Take a few breaths. I, I moved you fast, didn't I? So let's just take, take a few breaths here. All right, press into down dog. And here in down dog, breathe. On your next inhale, bring your right foot up in between your hands. This is high crescent lunge, extending out through your left heel. Find your foundation here first before we move on. Don't be in a rush. Shoulders back, arms down, gaze straight ahead, reaching out through your left heel, right sole of your foot, your thigh is almost parallel to the floor. On your next inhale, with your palms of your hands facing each other, breathe. Holding it here. On your next exhale, pivot your left foot down as both arms come down into Virabhadrasana, warrior two, and breathe. Gaze down the center of your right fingertips and breathe here. On your next inhale, flip your palm, dropping your left, as you paint a beautiful rainbow and breathe here. On your next inhale, straighten your right knee. Feel that really nice stretch in your hip. You've warmed this up. On your next exhale, slowly come down. And now I ask you to reach out first as we come into triangle pose. So here, reach out and then flip your palm as the outside of your palm comes to the inside with a straight leg, reach up, gaze, and breathe. One more inhale and exhale. On your next exhale, cartwheel, and begin to just walk your foot in here, and this is where your block is going to come in handy. So get your block out in front, here on your palm and press in as you come up onto your right leg and open your hip as you, we come into 
half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. And so here, find your balance. Your arms are stacked over each other. You've opened your hip, flexed your left foot, gaze straight ahead or up wherever you are, and breathe. Hold it here. One more inhale and exhale. On your next exhale, cartwheel your left hand out as your left foot comes down and begin to walk your um, into a wide-legged stretch. And here, placing your right, I'm mirroring you, so this is a little, might be confusing, but if it's your left hand, bring your left hand into the center and sweep up your right hand and breathe. On your next exhale, dropping your right fingertips into the center and exhale as you sweep up, breathe, breath and movement wherever you are. On your next exhale, bring your hands down into the center and just pivot to the back of, you'll be facing the back of your mat now. You don't have to see me, just listen. Bending your left knee as you extend now out through your right heel, coming into high crescent lunge on this side. And like we did first, we find our foundation. Let's get into the foundation of the pose, extending out through your heel, the sole of your foot pressing, finding that balance, shoulders up, back, and down. On your next inhale, bring both arms up, palms facing each other. Reach up, gaze straight ahead, breathe. One more inhale. On your exhale, pivoting your right foot down as you ride your breath, both arms come down. Left knee stacked over left ankle, shoulders away from your ears as you reach out through your fingertips. Holding it here, breathing. Gaze is down the center of your left fingertips. On your next inhale, drop your right arm. Inhale as your left arm comes up and over. A beautiful arch. Hold it here. On your next inhale, straighten your left arm. Feel the stretch in your hip. On your next exhale, floating your arm down. And before we drop it, let's extend out for a wee bit. Turn your palm as your palm comes down into the inside, right arm stacked on left, one straight line, gaze, breathe. One more inhale and exhale here. On your next exhale, cartwheel your right fingertips as you hop, maybe grab a hold of your block here, hop your right foot in, placing your left fingertips on your block or on the floor and coming into half moon on this side. And once again, stacking your arms, flex your right foot. It just allows you to engage, you feel your muscles engaged here arms stacked over each other, and breathe, holding this beautiful balance pose. One more inhale and exhale here. On your next exhale, cartwheel your right arm down as your right leg comes down, and once again, walk your hands into the center, pivot your feet together, and come into a squat as your elbows press inside your thighs. Hands come into heart center. This will be our, kind of our last challenging balance pose. And you'll take it as far as you can go. And this might be, it's a really nice hip opener. So 
pressing your elbows in as your hands are in heart center, extending through the crown of your head as you draw your shoulders back. Find that really nice stretch. And if you want to take it further into a balance pose, you'll place both palms out in front and begin to rock forward as you lift your feet up. And if you want to take it a wee bit further, drop your head down and it's the beginning of a headstand. And here, we're not going to work on headstand just yet, but let's stay in where you are in crow pose and breathe. Coming back down onto your heels, bring your hands back into prayer. And headstand is something that we'll have almost a separate class for, or a portion of the class. But if headstand's in your practice, pop back up into it. It feels really good from crow. Um, but there's other ways to do a headstand, but don't compress your spine so much. But it's almost too fun to resist. All right, taking your, I'm gonna mirror you now, taking your left fingertips to the outside and sweep up. Nice twist. We've really warmed up. Should feel, feel it for sure, but should feel pretty good twisting. On your next exhale, come back into center. Inhale, extend. Exhale, drop your right fingertips as your left arm swings up and breathe. On your next exhale, floating your hands down, coming down to center. Roll onto your knees and come onto your back. You did great, guys. Okay. Those are some interesting balancing poses. We've not done some of them. And so, thanks for playing with me today. All right. So, knees, we're going to do a little rock and roll. Knees on the outside or behind. Your call, whatever feels good. I think I like them underneath, but all right, just float back and then come back up. Feel that nice rock, massaging the spine. One more back, and next time you come up, hold it. And this is the part I've really well been waiting for. So our shoulders have probably creeped up to our ears. Oh no! Let's pull them down and back. Engage your core. This is where yoga is all about, my friends. We gotta keep that core to protect back. Posture, it's an important thing. So shoulders away, core engaged. This may be where you wanna stay. If you want, and we're in another nice balance, extend your feet and let go. And we'll do five really nice ujjayi breaths. So let's start. That would be one. Two, why don't you close your eyes? Just feel the breath. Or one nice long ujjayi breath here, using your core. All right, draw your knees in. Begin to just roll back nicely. <clears throat> and now here, let's come back onto your back. You come onto your back. I'm gonna come on the line. Extend your feet up. Begin to press into your palms as you roll backward, taking the palms and placing them like you had pockets right here. And now pressing into your shoulder, then your elbows, begin to come into shoulder stand. And this is a nice pose because you really feel weightless. Your bones are stacked. It's a beautiful balance. And breathe. Flex your feet and point. Flex and point. And just hold it here. This is a really nice 
proposed to allow the lactic acid, which is always moving downward, everything when you mix it up. It's just a, a good thing. No research on that, just police research. On your next exhale, begin to drop your feet over your head. And now your hands, if you can, bring them together and draw them down as your feet. Maybe they touch the mat, maybe they don't, but that's okay. Flex your feet if they come to the mat and feel that further stretch in the back of your legs. Just feel this pose. It's a really nice pose at the end of class. On your next exhale, release your hands, palms facing down, and roll down the mat. Keeping your right leg up as your left leg floats down, bend your right knee, engage your hands underneath your right knee, pulling your right knee to the outside of your right shoulder, avoiding your rib cage. Pull it in. Here, balancing off your digestive tract by cutting off the blood supply to your ascending colon. We're gonna balance it off by doing it on the other side. So pull in, breathe. On your next exhale, take your left hand to the outside of your right knee, draw your right arm out and drop your left knee over. It may not come to the ground, but that's okay. Keep your shoulders on the mat. That's much more important than breathing and coming up like that. So wherever your knee goes, breathe. Nice, simple twist. One more inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, drawing your right knee up, extending your right leg out, using your core, really feel your core engaged. Inhale, left knee slowly comes in, interlace your fingers a few inches below your left knee as you draw it out to your shoulder, avoiding your rib cage. And now we cut off the blood supply to our descending colon. Balancing off both sides of the body and breathe here. And that's why we do yoga on both sides to keep that balance. Breathe. One more inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, taking your right hand, extending your left to the outside, and now dropping your left knee over as your gaze down your left arm and breathe, keeping your shoulders on the mat, and breathe. One more inhale and exhale. And on your next inhale, using your core slowly, bringing your left knee to center. Now draw your right knee up. Grab a hold of both knees. And if you can reach your elbows, draw your knees in. We've now cut off the blood supply to our transverse colon, gotten the whole nine yards. Actually, there's a lot of yards of your colon. Draw in, gaze down the center. And this is where I tell you, self-love says, I love you. Self-care says, prove it. And hugging yourself here, you have proof that you're taking time out for yourself to self-care. So on your next inhale, draw one bit tighter in, and then on your exhale, release. Using your core very slowly. Bring your legs down and make your way into Shavasana. Okay. I am on time. So here in Shavasana, just make any movements you need. Maybe taking your cushion or your blanket behind your knees 
and allowing them to take a little pressure off your lower back. Whatever it is that allows you to find just a comfortable pose. And still following your breath, deepen and just allow your breath to take you into a quiet. We've worked on both sides of the body. We've done some challenging postures. And now it's time to just find that place. Shiva Ray says, She's a wonderful yoga instructor and she says balancing yoga and life, you know, when you're on the mat and off the mat. If you take the time to do that, it becomes a reflection of your inner life. And, you know, I'm, I'm just beginning to understand all of that. And so as you rest, Continue to focus on your breath. Maybe send your breath down the right side of your body. Visualize it. Moving down the right side. And then when it gets to your right toes, ask it to cross over and Move up the left side. You find this beautiful movement down and up, in and out. Each exhale bringing you closer to the earth onto your mat. Thank you.
begin to deepen your breath. Wiggling your toes, your fingers, bringing your awareness to any movement. Be there. Feel your body moving slowly. You know, as we participate in this dance of life, this ebb and flow, giving, receiving, taking, giving back, coming, going, controlling, surrendering. I mean, there's so many opportunities to observe. And that's it. If we can observe, we come to that place, that quiet center. That sweet spot that is always there. And all it takes is our attention, our awareness to bring us there. It's an ongoing, never-ending journey of balance. Um, so I invite all of you to come back to a comfortable seated pose and we'll end our time together in the same way that we started. Um, so coming and grounding in to your seated pose, shoulders away from your ears, and on your next inhale, bringing both arms up, really riding your breath, maybe taking note of your fingers coming together, how this felt from your first breath this morning as you exhale very slowly coming down into heart center. The divine in me bows with such joy and gratitude to the divine in each of you for allowing me, trusting me to guide you through this sacred practice. Namaste. Be well, be balanced, stay safe. God bless and happy Mother's Day. See you next week. All right, guys.